in this diagram length is 90 width is 60 and height is 32 plus 54 now when you see from the front you will see this part the slope plus this circular portion so what we will do in this case first we will start with circle so that means first we will draw top view so see in this case first you draw layout and then you can mark center and draw circle after that they have given 24 so what we will do we will take 12, 12 from both the sides and we can draw a line then they have given 20 so that also we can take 10, 10 from both the sides and then we can darken this portion this part will be also dark this won't be done now after that we can draw these two line also so this much portion is done now seeing this sum when you see from the top you will see this part this part this part this part as well as this slope but we don't know this distance so what we will do first we will draw front view to get this distance so in front view you can see this part as well as this rectangle so what we will do this length is how much 50 so we'll take half of it 25 25 and we will join center We take 25, 25, take 8, 8 from here and join. So we got this slope. After that, to draw circular portion, we will project from here and so that's from here. We can project from here. This height is how much? 21. And the other height, if you see in this main diagram, other height is how much? 38. So we will take from top view, we will take 38 and we will draw 9. But now, when you see in front view, see our main diagram, when you see from this side, you will see this edge. Plus, you will see this edge. So what we have drawn just now is this edge, extreme edge. Right? But we still need to draw this edge. So this you will get it from here. So what we will do, you can see in top view, see this, wherever it is intersecting, from these two points we will draw lines up. Same on the other side. So this much portion will be done. This portion will be done. Same on the other side. We project from here. This portion will be done. This much will be done. Now after this, now if you see in our main diagram, when you see from here, you can't see this edge. You can't see this edge. As well as you can't see this edge also. So what we need to do, we need to draw 1, 2 and 3. All these 3 lines will be dotted. If you see how much it is down, 9, then again 9. And this is 8 from down. So what we will do, see, we will take 9 from here and we will draw dotted line. Same way again you go down by 9 and draw dotted line. Same way, 8 from down you can draw dotted lines. So we have drawn three lines for three edges. Now we will draw side view. When you see from the side, you will see this part, this part, this slope and this again rectangle. So first we will draw lower portion. Project from here. 
This much would be done. Then they have given, see there is a gap. You have to take 22. So from now on I take 22. What we can do, we can present. this straight we can put it from the bottom and no how much is that 30 so we take 15 15 on both the sides so we'll take 15 from here 15 from here so go down straight and then join this So you get this lower portion. Now to draw this, if you see diameter of this is how much? 50. Total is how much? If you see total is 60. So we'll take 5 on both the sides and we can draw straight line. Height we know 38 that we can project from the 20 also we can project and as well as that's given 20. So this much portion would be done. And when you see from this side, see this, when you see from this side, you can't see this edge. So that edge will be also dotted. So we are done with side view as well as front view. Now uh, one more thing is remaining in side view. When you see from this side, you will see this portion. So this line will be also done. Now we will draw top view. So for top view, we will project from here as well as from here. Now if you see that given 30. So center we have, we can take 15, 15 on both the sides. We can draw line, extend and join. This distance is 8, 8 from both the sides. The same thing we will get on the other side. We will project from here. see the main diagram when you see from the top you can't see this edge as well as this edge so these two edges we have to draw dotted but when when you see from the top this much portion you will be able to see and the remaining you won't be able to see so see what we need to do we need to draw dotted line for this which is going through and through this part will be dark till here and then it will be dotted Then again dark because we can see this portion. Same way, this much portion will be dark, and then we have dotted line. This much would be dark, and this would be dotted. 